I think so, yeah. Would have pleased Pete in being a twin, having twins for grandchildren. Yeah, it has spoilt and rotten. Pete and Pauline were so close. Now, oh, family. Nelly? Yes? It's Ian's birthday tomorrow. Well? Well, I was thinking of having a party for him, something special. You know, having lost his dad. I just thought it'd be a chance to get the family together again. That won't be easy. <laughs> well, why not? The way they all feel about Ian, how much he's asking for the stall. Well, he's only asking what he thinks is right. Not the way they see it. Well, they want a reason for a get-together. They can talk about it. You never know, there might come some sort of agreement. Yes, but it's getting them together that's the trouble. Oh, you can persuade him, Nelly. Why me? Well, you were fond of Pete, weren't you? You know, in respect of his memory. Well, put that way. Well, if anyone can do it, Nelly, well, I suppose I could give it a try. Oh, good. Well, look, it'll be a surprise party. Kids as well. Our flat tomorrow evening, 6 for 6.30, all right? Oh, well, hang on a minute. Oh, tell Paul enough. And if you see Mark and Michelle, tell them as well. But remember, not a word to Ian about this, all right? I can't promise anything. Do your best, Nelly. Well, Bye. all right, but... Oh, Bye. Oh, dear. Thank you. Thanks the real graph these days, eh? Not for long. Oh? Hey, where's Sanj? Oh, he's gone for his breakfast. What hours ago? We must have a big appetite, then. Yeah, we're not going to have to talk to him. All right, Aslan. All right. You busy? Yep. We got something sorted out, then, have you? No. Oh. Ian? No, Mark, what can I do for you? I've been thinking about the store. Yeah? I'll give you ten grand for it. That's what it's worth. Mark, I asked for twelve. I'm offering ten. Where are you going to get ten grand from? That's my business. You interested? Maybe. But don't wait too long, eh? What can I get you? Oh, a big mug of tea and one of those chocolate... Brownies? Yes. Right. Oh, Cathy. Yeah? Have you had your invite to the party? What part is that, then? Oh, Cindy's surprise party for Ian's birthday. You hadn't forgotten it's his birthday. No, I hadn't forgotten. Well, all the families included. That is, if you are still family. Yes, Nelly, I'm family. I'm Ian's mother. Yes, I suppose that's right. So have they sorted it all out, then? Sorted what out? Well, what's happening with Pete's stall? Oh, that's what Cindy says the get-together's for, getting it sorted. Finished? Yeah. So, how's things then, all right? Oh, no complaints. Business good? Yeah, excellent. Busy? Never stops. So, who's minding our stall then? Big Ron is minding our stall. Good. I'm going to take your turn, anyone. Oh, I tried it once. Not really my scene, is it? No, it wouldn't be, would it? It's hard work. Look, in this life, you get your workers and you get your entrepreneurs. And I know which I am. Yeah, well, as an entrepreneur, yeah. you'll appreciate we've been made an offer. Oh, yeah? Mm. Where from? Mark. How much? Ten. Ten thousand? That's not bad. It's not bad. Not for ready. I'll stick one in there, will you? No. Hello, Sharon. Welcome back, Sharon. We've all missed you, Sharon. Didn't think I'd never been away. Same again. Not just yet. Well, should I take that? Not just yet. That's what you need for yourself, so that's what you could put by, which would pay off a loan of... Oh, Shelley, come on. What's the point of this? If you've made an offer... No, it wasn't an offer. It was just... I well, no, it was just a figure I snatched out of the air, that's all. Yeah, a reasonable amount. Yeah, if he'd take it. Yeah, so let's work out some way of raising it. Well, where from? Like I said before, the bank or the building society. Yeah, well, any loan money the people have got it, don't they? Well, there are people who advertise. Loan sharks. Insurance companies, then, they lend. Not to people like me, they don't. Mark, you've got to be more positive. If you want the store, you've got to do something about it. Mm. If I get the application forms, we'll at least look at them. Maybe. Oh, I want... Sorry. Mark, is it all right now between you and Ian? It's okay. So what about this party? What party? Well, for Ian's birthday, Cindy's giving him a surprise, you know, getting all the family along. That might be a surprise. That'd be a miracle. Are you going? Well, he's my son. Look, Mark. What? If you could bring yourself to go. Why should he? What a chance of bringing Ian round, you know, with all the family there to soften him up a bit. We think it over. Mark? Well? I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, Sanj. Where are we Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, I'm bringing somebody along. Who? Your new assistant. She is a crack. Uh, Richard, Excuse look, me. I... Who is he? Me? No, 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 I never mix business with pleasure. Whatever. Well, hardly ever. Here. You get a drink, and I'll find us a spot. Yeah, I suppose. There you go. Cheers. Should be all right here. So, I just want to talk with you. Mutual interests. 
Sounds interesting. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Sure, what interests you? Information. From me? I didn't play it. Right, you're market manager, yeah? So? So you must know people who want a pitch. So? And the fruit and veg is the best in the market. <laughs> I wouldn't argue with that. Now, the family say that Mark should have it. Well, they've got a point. But being that it's legally mine and Ian's... Mark would have to buy you, That's right. Yeah. And he's offered 10,000. Is he unsatisfied with that? I don't know. I'm not. I thought, uh... Yeah? I thought if someone else made a better offer, Mark would have to top it. Someone else? Yeah. Like who? Well, could you get any offers? Me? Oh, come on, you must know people. Friends, traders, doesn't matter who. High spirit gets it, yeah? But you mean outside the family? Yeah. If that's the best offer. Well, they won't like that. Look, we'll have to go into this. Um, I'm busy in the mornings, but tomorrow afternoon, come round to my place. Right. You know what it is? Yeah, fine. Good, good. Now get these filled up. Oh, well, uh, seem to have any... Yeah, you do. You got to change out of my last round. Yeah, right, <laughs> You know what day it is tomorrow, don't you? Yeah. It's coming in. What date is it? Uh, let me think. Is it a leap year? Come on, you do know. Of course I do. Don't ask what your present is. I knew you hadn't forgotten. I was if I would. Well, I was thinking, um, why don't we get Pat or Mum to come round and babysit? No, Pat's busy tomorrow. Where do you know? Well, because I asked her. Oh. Why do we get me one then? I mean, she can come round and look after the kids and we can go out and have a real good slap up night out. Night out? Yeah. I know funds are a little bit tight at the moment, but I think it'd do us good to get out. You know, go do something different. Stop staring at these four walls. Mm -hmm. I don't expect a flag waved or a trumpet played or anything, but I mean, you could at least try and look pleased. Well, it's not just the money I'm thinking about, Ian. Not that we can afford to spend it anyway, but, well, I've already planned something special. Have you? Hmm. What? Having dinner in. Having dinner in? What is so special about having dinner in? We do it every Well, not day. like it's going to be tomorrow. Anyway, I've already shot for it. It's something special. In fact, I want you to stay out of the way until it's ready, all right? Well, what is it? What is it? Oh, please, Ian. Don't spoil my surprise. All right, I'll stay out of your way and I won't ask any questions, all right? Another thing, Pauline. What is it now? It's Ian's birthday present. What birthday present? Well, if we're going to his party... Well, why should we? We're invited is why. Well, he hasn't asked me. It isn't him who's asking, it's Cindy. As a surprise for Ian and a chance a for chance all of us what? to talk him into giving Mark a fair deal. Oh, that'll be the surprise. The time that Ian ever gives anyone a fair deal. It can't be that bad. You don't know Ian. Are you settling in all right, then? Oh, yes, thank you. It's a great place to live, isn't it, Mrs. F? Is it? Well, yeah, has been for me, oh. still. Got a strike lucky someday somewhere, Ooh. haven't you? <laughs> See ya. Bye. Come here. Sit down. Sorry. Scotch? Yeah, that'd be nice. Soda, tonic? No, no, just, uh, just neat for me, please. Right. Are you going to get that? Nope. They're persistent, aren't they? Do you want me to pick it up? Leave it, leave it, leave it. He is in there. Just ain't answering. Well, I told you, didn't I? It's not enough just phoning. No. So what else? Just shut up now. Just stop going on. I can hardly hear myself think. Well, there we are. Cheers. Cheers. The thing is, David, I'm thinking of putting in a bid myself. You? Yeah. I reckon I can top Fowler's bid. It's all a question of timing. Just let them stew for a while and then hit them with another bid. Mm. Ian doesn't know that you've been talking no, to me, no, does no. he? Well, keep it like that. If he thinks me and you are ganging up on him, he'll only take it personally. And you should never let personal feelings get in the way of a good deal. Mm. Ian forgets that. <laughs> Do you? Never. The nerve of it. Inviting us to his party. It wasn't him, it was her. And you, Mark, how could you even think about going? Look, I would if I thought it would do any good. You know, get him to come round. Well, you say you made him an offer, a good one. Sort of. What, and he turned it down? Yeah, well, he could be persuaded. Who says? Cathy says. And I say. Oh, is that right? Well, you won't get a better chance of talking him round than you would at a party. Really? Well, Ian's only language is money. Well, I'm going. Well, I've got two. I've already bought him a card. And written in it. Yes. Well, you won't get me setting foot across his doorstep. Not till he's been round here and done the right thing. That understood? There you go, mate. Happy birthday. Cheers, Rock. Right. 
So you're doing special to celebrate? Yeah, I think he's cooking up a surprise. He's booting me out the house today, it's really. Oh yeah? yeah. Sharon, it's his birthday. That's nice. You can have a birthday drink with me? I'm not just now. Somebody loves him. It's really good on the Well, he is my son. I'm entitled to spoil him. I was worried there wasn't going to be enough. No, you've got more than enough. Well, who's coming? There's uh, the Fowlers and their two kids. Ian, me and Stephen. Aunt um, Patsy, she's coming later. Whenever else decides to come along. What, they're all coming, are they? Well, no one said no. What time did Paul and Arthur say they were coming, Nelly? Uh, uh, well, uh, oh, it better be soon. Otherwise, it's going to spoil Ian's surprise, isn't it? Should we get off, then? Yeah, just give us a minute. Uh, Mum? What? You coming? What? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. What, like that? I had to do the tea things, didn't I? You should have left them. Oh, would I? Your dad should have been back by now. Him and Mars have been ages. Uh, just leave my note, tell him where we are. Hey, on, mate. Happy birthday. What's this? Well, yeah, you'll find out, won't you? Okay. Go on, try it on. Not in here. Go on. If it's not fit, I'll change it. Oh, yeah. oh, you got one as well, did you? As well as what? As well as the other punters. You get them free with a chicken take <laughs> Thank you, I'm touched. Sydney, can I come in, love, or what? Sydney? What's all this? Surprise, surprise! Happy birthday! <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> well, are you it then? The surprise? Well, yes. Oh. Happy birthday, Ian. Oh, thanks, Mum. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this, love, but I think you've gone a bit overboard for four. I mean, it would have been cheaper to have a night out, wouldn't it? <laughs> Cindy, leave her in. Let me talk to her. Help yourself now. Yeah, Mum. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oops. There you go. Well, I hope Ian's enjoying being at his party, because I'm certainly enjoying not being there. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. 